I will not stutter to speak in this time and in this space. The blue jay on the tree on the branch has seen the snake and the eagle fight endlessly. And so when one is free, it does not mean they are free from the observance of the suffering that has given them that freedom. You know the beginning of the achievement for you know its end. Thought can be shaped, and so imagine the way I'm saying the word thought right now. Thought, as if I'm putting a block of clay on the ground. And what happens is that you recognize that expression inspires itself, but the minute expression doesn't exist because the moment has been turned into a confused cause and effect you realize there's no need to step into the pool of illusion in the first place you do not originate your reality with eyes that you feel cannot see. Right now man is understanding himself immediately by simply being aware of his past. And so if I told you what inspires you, what is it but your past, what you know so far? But the problem is what you think is your past is not your past. And what that means, a lot, uh, this is perhaps a very interesting revelation to those who feel the revealed cannot speak. But in a sense, they never do. <clears throat> you first see that you are existence and you're comfortable and you acknowledge this. As you know yourself as existence, you see you are being also aware that your sense of knowing has an image. So suddenly, out of emptiness, there is shape, there is the light. There is the beginning circles of the flower of life. And as you become aware of who your voice is really communicating it is never anyone but what you can remember and so when man acknowledges his exploration and his search for knowledge as first one of observing the nature of in, uh, remembrance the nature of awareness the nature of expression the na nature of self-reflection, the nature of personality to presence. When you lose yourself, sometimes you're not supposed to find yourself in a sense of self, but in a sense of moment, of appreciation, of knowing, of gratefulness. It's as if the hawk that wanted to choose the next tree to fly to flew so high and when it flew so high that sense of knowing saw more of the same reality so you need to recognize the way we explore higher communication or higher dimensional communication and all this stuff your higher sense of consciousness is by first silencing and finding the platform and so I, I find myself naturally and very playfully based on you know the intent the graceful intent I have in these compassion intent I have in these videos to in a sense share my experience and in a sense blend it into a certain uh, communication and just provide you with something that perhaps can help you and you know what help 
you by recognizing you are the you who can help you. Do you know? So, <laughs> let's move past this letter. I will begin by telling you that I find myself as a pilot of consciousness. And playfully what that means is that I identify meaninglessly with the sense of experiencer rather than the object of experience. And what that means is that you see all the stuff you're seeing in the room, you see everything you're seeing, you see every object, you see how you're right here. Now, you're identifying this based on the images you feel you're thinking of. But in a sense, you're not recognizing that what is present there is present in ways that your thoughts are not capturing. So what you feel you're thinking about. So what I mean by that is when you stroll around you cannot avoid the path. There are many times we feel we want to say many things, but there are too many things to say. And what ends up happening is just an instance of constant uh, decision making based on a sense of improvisation, which is a natural allowance that your life is naturally communicating comfortably. So what I see is that I don't try to be confident because I always know that the confidence is an existential knowing that is there. And so when you know yourself, that means you have confronted all the noise that is both outside of you and inside of you, and you have also confronted your sense of silence. Silence. So you can sit down in a room and be comfortable with yourself for like a couple hours. And you know, if you want to really intensify it, you know, uh, there are some some men who have known to just live in the forest and simply just be in states of meditation for years. And you got to realize there's different sensitivities and ranges of understanding history. For example, not a lot of people look at history from the same angle. And so you see. The problem is that we had to create degrees for things. I want to guys share something, a quote by Krishnamurti. And his quote goes something like this, and he says, Tradition becomes our security, and when the mind is secure, it is in decay. Your comfort zone is the very thing that is limiting you. And you don't need to wake up by thinking you need something that you don't have. You need to know you have it and act immediately and solve your problems by being the greatest effort that could push it and, you know, bring about the changes you want. Work with yourself in an instant. Be serious. Be your own CEO and be instantaneous with yourself and adjust and align your habits. What that means is that we are the next... Uh, the next level teachers are simply advanced beings embracing their collective nature. Advanced individuals embracing their collective consciousness. And what that means is consciousness doesn't have a shape, but it is being embraced differently based on the attention you have on the reality you have. 
and so many people now especially as men there's there's a we are really appreciating the separations of our materiality um, our art will begin creating bigger pictures you cannot cut a particle and not see what's above you in the stars you know you cannot there's you, you just simply see the design is present within itself and when you see there's the everything is omniscient is because the hologram is within the hologram and so it, it is in a sense it's like two mirrors present one another and so if you put your hand between those mirrors, you'll see your hand in infinite ways. But in a sense, if you take it off, it doesn't need to be there. And so that sense of nothingness is not present. You cannot go into an experience of nothing as an individual being. The nothingness that is above, or when I say above, is one that can never be talked about. It's unspeakable. Is one in a sense that you are very poetically the experience of all that is present it's an immediate knowing it is that moment where you are the apocalypse but also every other thought about the apocalypse and every ever everything that was ever shaped so when one dissolves into shape you see the greatest confrontations is the confrontations of how we've shaped our meanings or how our shapes are in a sense conditioned based on our own conditioning and it's not like you're not in a situation where I'm like free yourself guys free yourself you know there's there's no drama I'm simply saying very I'm not even I'm not very involved I don't know you so I'm not giving you advice but I am communicating my experience and based on what I feel I need to say I just communicate it and in a sense very <laughs> playfully I can say that Sometimes I've gotten rid of problems without the answer. And it's very strange. It's as if there's been moments where I've had the worst thing happen to me. But instead of getting mad, I've just kind of walked naturally and just looked at something outside. For example, um, some bird, you know, drinking from the ditches in Iran. <laughs> and it's, it's like you see an elegance in nature. That regardless of how filthy man makes it, it's 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 clean. <laughs> you open doors for yourself, and eventually, after opening them infinite times, you see that all of that is present within a moment. It is it is it is there in a way where you are here. And so now it is the time, guys, to utilize all that you hear and allow yourself and in a sense bless yourself into greatness. That's what, that's what I do. I just bless myself, into, <laughs> I bless myself into greatness. And what that means is that when I try and when I do things, I do not think of an outcome. Even though I'm aware. I mean, when I say I don't think, I mean, like, I, I simply act as if I know what to do with an allowance of lack of reaction. It's as if when you're internally silent, you hear everything, so you act more, more quicker, you know? Think of it that way. And it's an internal silence, but what that kind of really means is that when you get to know yourself, you will be fascinated by your complexity and also how all of that is found through the simplest things that you do. You will see that perhaps the way you look at a branch of a tree and the way you look at the nerves in a brain, you know, is perhaps a beauty that your mind has created a bridge to, you know. But that moment is present. And that moment is you. And you will see as you will grow and walk, this will be in your memory, regardless of how immediate it is acknowledged consciously by your next sense of action. You simply have to be smart by recognizing that you don't try to be smart. You allow what you know to be present and to show up on its own. So 
You don't need to think of saying um, 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 um when you're talking. And so that is, many, many people are victims to the sound um, um. <laughs> but in a sense, they're not victims because if they just change it to um, <laughs> then, you know, they would perhaps experience something with a different form of clarity, you know, a different sense of resonance. Back in ancient Persia, and not just in ancient Persia, but, you know, I think many other uh, Middle Eastern places where there were dervishes and Sufis, I've, I've... I, I have heard this, and so I'm going to continue with what I have heard, that they would for 40 days leave, and, oh, I want to kind of lead this to sharing with you very quickly, uh, very interesting story that is through a poem and pretty much the story is of a poet a young poet who asks to be the tutor or to be the you know to be the student to be the apprentice of this very wise you know a very great let's say Sufi teacher and poet and hopefully <laughs> With this story being accurate, <laughs> we see that um, Hafez, for those who know who, th who this man is, for 40 days goes outside in the desert, draws a circle, and doesn't step out of it. And so, you know, 40 days he's in that circle. And in a sense, an angel at the end of it comes to him and says, What do you want, Hafez? What do you want, pleasant being, who've been so pleasant? And Hafez looks at the angel and tells the angel, Nothing. And when Hafez says this, he gets up, gets out of that circle, and in a sense knows that he doesn't need to say a single word. He goes and walks to Attar, for those who know who he is, and Attar looks at him and accepts him by just the look in his eyes. And you see, we choose the intensity of how we are receiving stories, and once you have a graceful state of being, um, you, your, your thoughts cannot be ones that are harming you. Imagine from the moment you woke up, woke up all that you were aware of were things that were um, contributing to you. So how you can't do that. So what that means is you feel as if everything is contributing to you. But in a sense, seeing it's, there's no reason for it to not to. And that's the playfulness that I'm talking about. There's no reason for you to not be lucky, you know. There's no reason for you to not see. I mean, let your have faith. And in a sense, what that means is, I did this, you do it for yourself. And I think it enhances your quality of life. Pretty much, smile, breathe, and very gently, tell yourself, there is no reason, you know, for me to not be lucky, do you know? There's no reason for me to not have good things and the things that I require not to gravitate towards me, you know? You see, you are allowed to have a very nice thought of life and being like, what if suddenly, you know, something amazing, a surprise could come in my life, you know? I call it gift. So what that means is that what if the next, a huge moment of it, like, 
un, unspeakable measure just enters my experience, right? So I, I see that as a gift, and so the unknown through the mystic's eyes is one where you're always in love, you're always going into reunion, going into greater understanding. The drop has found the ocean and is looking up to the clouds, in which then it would be dropped again in new ways. The cycles of the cosmos keep it there. And so what is moving does not need to have been something to have been started. Cause and effect is a fallacy. It does not exist at some realm, at some point. Because the nature of stillness is also the nature of complete motion, of complete movement. It's the same nature. It happens in the same. So what that means is that the moving wheel never needed to be stopped never needed to be limited to any law. It was so infinitely moving that it was a static point of creation. And so we have seen, uh, perhaps in the elegance of Hare Krishna chanters, that the Godhead had a personality. And so the personality of the Godhead acted in ways of this manner, which led to that form of uh, f uh, finding the light with him. Nothing can trouble you because you're not troubled. And let yourself, and let your remembrance, in other words, don't try to figure out who you are spiritually, or don't try to, and when I say don't try to figure out who you are spiritually, let me actually frame this better. You don't need to constantly think that you need to go to psychics or you need to have something externally of you. You see that as a human being, we are conditioned to be dependent on external reality. When a person gets an experience, internal experience of life, in other words, when you see life as life suddenly, when you just snap out of your hologram by observing a different nature of what you see, you cannot be touched by confusion. Render yourself peaceful, and in that innovation, you're always your next newest design. Much blessings and namaste.